did see it and loved it, well, you'll love it again, won't you? If you hated it the first time, have you considered the possibility that you might be a miserable grumpy girl? I'll tell you what's weird. The fact that there were seven dwarfs, but none of them were called short arse. <laughs> yeah, that, that's weird. But I'll tell you what else. Yeah, that there are people with surnames like black, brown, green and white. There's nobody called yellow. <laughs> like Tony Yellow. Hmm. <laughs> well, I was going to say that it was weird. There's no 15 pound notes. <laughs> There's no 15 pound note. That's that's weird. Peculiar. So what you got then? Dear Kylie Minogue, my best friend Tony fell into a coma recently while we were out shopping. <laughs> Doctors now ah, say tragically fell into a coma tragically. Yeah, tragically. Mm. Doctors now say the only thing that will wake him up is his favourite Australian artist singing at his bedside. It doesn't have to be good singing. So please come round to our flat and sing to him. Best wishes, Gary Strang. What if she sends a cassette? We haven't got a cassette player. <laughs> That's all right. What about you? Dear Kylie, I've been a fan of yours since you burst onto the scene like a rocket in the 80s. Hey, like, like an enormous sky rocket. Ah, oh, yeah. Like an enormous sky rocket. Yeah. I have written to you already once or twice without any luck, but here goes again. I know you are busy, but I would be grateful if you could send me one or more unwanted toenail clippings at your, <laughs> at your earliest convenience, fondly, Tony. You don't think that sounds a bit, uh, needy? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yours sincerely? No, I mean asking for some toenail. I just thought wanted something personal, you know. Well, what about a toothbrush? <laughs> it's been in her mouth. Yeah. <laughs> what about some hair? <laughs> I can't really imagine Kylie snipping away down there. <laughs> We've got to be realistic, mate. <laughs> Not rude hair. <laughs> oh, no, no, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Oh. Umbrella. Yeah, umbrella. Mm. Grateful for any unwanted umbrellas. <laughs> Feel free to stick in any old toothbrushes. <laughs> or spare hair. <laughs> you see, the thing is, people like Kylie, they're, they're completely normal, and they're actually quite happy to meet other completely normal people. Oh. Well, she's like a sister to us. Mm. The type of sister you'd like to go running around London naked with, leaping from roof to roof. <laughs> yeah, that kind of sister. Yeah. <laughs> we go back a long way. Way, 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 way. way Why do you keep way, saying way? way. Sorry. Man. Right. We'll have Michelle Pfeiffer up to the knee and a woman off the special gay advert up to the hip. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting really complicated. Well... We're going to be sharing a log cabin for, like, eternity. We might as well get the details right. All right, let's recap. Mm. The face is a singer with a cute nose from the bangles. <laughs> Bottom, Kylie. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> Alternating on a weekly basis with the Cuban sprinter in the leotard, whose name we can't remember. <laughs> so who would you like to have children with, ideally? Kylie. <laughs> Kylie. Who I? Well, if the little chap's having a hard time getting to sleep, who better to sing away in a manger than Kylie? <laughs> With her infallible ear for rhythm and a distinctive Aussie brogue. And, you know, despite being petite, I get the impression she's strong as an ox. <laughs> what a new CD today. Kylie's latest. Oh. I see she's uh, wearing glasses. Yeah. I think she looks really good in glasses, don't you? Well, let's face it, Kylie looked foxy in a welder's mask with a parsnip strapped to her. Ah, <laughs> oh. bad news. 
Dear Mr. Strang, unfortunately, owing to a heavy work schedule, my client Kylie Minogue is unable to meet you and your friend Tony for a donut. <laughs> I should be so lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. I should be so lucky. <laughs> that last bloke? What? Oh, no. <laughs> so it must be a real nightmare being well known. Oh, a nightmare. Constant gifts. Mm. All those nights in expensive hotels collecting all the little soaps. soaps. <laughs> I mean, would you want a stalker? Yeah, I would, actually. <laughs> the thing about a stalker is you can always get them to run errands and stuff for you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if I had a stalker, I'd say, hey, Take five minutes off, will you, and get down the shops and buy me a packet of fags, Storky. Yeah. <laughs> Evening. Oh. Uh, is that your van that's parked outside? Yeah, I love it. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just ran into it. Oh, are you all right, little thing? With my car. With your car? I, I swerved to avoid these pigeons. And... You're supposed to run pigeons over! That's what they're for! They enjoy it! My insurance will cover everything. If I can just use a pen, I'll uh, give you my details. I love that man. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> she broke my van. He loves that van. Yeah, he, he mentioned that. You know, it's kind of rusty. No, it isn't. What's that? It's just a different sort of finish. <laughs> Do I detect a slide accent there? Good day. Dutch. <laughs> From Australia. Australia. Mm. Welcome. What brings you to our shores, Cobba? I am. Um, I just do a bit of work around Europe. Bar work? It's more in Australia. the... Australia. You know that song, Waltzing Matilda? What exactly is a billabong? <laughs> it's a, kind of a quiet place by a river where people stop. <laughs> <laughs> so what's a jolly swag man? That's a happy person who's carrying a, a traveller's swag. Are you sure you're Australian? <laughs> yeah. Do you have that pen? That van had special wheels, you know. What's special about them? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then. Say something in Australian. I'll strangle the pommy bastard if he mentions his van again. <laughs> Dutch. Mm. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Look, will you ask her? No, no, you ask her. Do you want an autograph? No. <laughs> we just wondered if you wouldn't mind putting your hand down our sink. You see, we seem to have a bit of a block. You've got such nice little hands. Tiny hands. You could lose hands. a finger in there. Yeah. You did bash his van, love. Do you mind if I don't? I've, I've got filming tomorrow. What, you're in the entertainment business? Yeah. Oh. oh. Could we ask something of you? Sing something. <laughs> No. <laughs> We've made these sculptures out of old lager cans. <laughs> Wonder if you judge which one you think is the best. It's me. <laughs> well, what do you think? I'd better go. Oh, no, look, it's not a real chicken. Oi, what do you... Oi, oi, oh, stay, it's your bad night. <sighs> God. Dutch birds. Dutchy. Dutchy. <laughs> I go if I put some wax on my cheese. Yeah, hey. <laughs> get your finger out that dike, cloggy. Yeah. <laughs> What's her name then? Helga van Indebleugen. <laughs> Kylie Minogue. <laughs> Care of Deconstruction Records, London and New York. Ever, the 